Hi, everybody. Reverend Therese Lee, and this is Unity Spiritual Center, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Thanks for being with us. We're grateful. So I'm wondering, what's on your mind today? In this time of busyness, as the time has changed and holidays are coming and TV is uh, showing us about all sorts of things all over the world, I'm urging you to get to a state of thankfulness, to move from the head to the heart space into a place of gratitude. Two things to be grateful for, I believe, every day, no matter the day, here and now. Here and now, because the now is all that we have. It's a gift, and that's why it's called the present. So let's take a moment to close our outer eyes and move from the head to the heart space and, and take a moment in prayer. Living, loving presence, thank you for this time together, for the awareness of gratitude and thanksgiving in our lives, regardless of the time of year, the time of day, to let us be grateful for all that we have, all that we know we are, and of course, all of our blessings seen and unseen. And so it is, we pray this in the name and after the nature and under the authority of the living, loving presence that is you and that is me. And so we are. Amen. My title today is, is Bless to Become. Bless to Become. We know in unity and a new thought that thoughts held in mind produce after their kind. It's our third unity principle. Charles Fulmore, one of the co-founders of unity, tell, told us, tells us that thought is the movement of ideas in mind. Thoughts are ideas in the movement of mind. Wow. So, everything that we think is stimulated by the divine creation of the God mind within us already, right? We already know this, born in the image and after the likeness, which means we've got the divine mind within us. Emerson said, man is an inlet, people are an inlet, and as we are healthy-minded, we may become an outlet to all there is in God, expressing in through and as each of us. My question always is, are you willing? Are you willing? All that is of God and all that is of spirit and all that is greater than us comes to us as divine ideas in through and as us. This is the process that creates the manifestation out into our world, the divine ideas that get formed into expression, whether it be spoken or created or written, they first have to start in our mind. So I'm wondering if as a metaphysical student that you are always embracing the Trinity that is you, Mind, idea, expression. Mind, idea, expression. The trinity of you that we want to bless today. As, as we're here together today, if you have something you're grateful for, go ahead and put it in the box along with your name and where you're from because that helps our algorithms. And we'll hold this in prayer with you the intention of gratitude together in one consciousness. We talk in unity, I've talked with you before about the concept of cause and effect, right? The fundamental teaching of unity and our thinking process. 
the consciousness that we are, right, which is the awareness of everything around us, is the invisible cause that brings about the visible effect outpictured in through and as us, through our words, through our actions, singing, whatever it is, however it is you choose to express. We learn in unity as well that life does not happen to us. Life happens through us, right? We know this. So you might ask, all right, what does that have to do with my consciousness, Therese? Well, our thoughts, our feelings, our beliefs, known and unknown, our values, known and unknown, and our actions are expressions of our consciousness. How much time each day do you spend getting centered so that you are spirit-led rather than ego-driven? And it doesn't have to be all at one time. On days where I have a busier schedule, I might have some time in the morning, take time in the afternoon, or maybe it doesn't get ha happen until later on. But it happens every day. And I try to make it several times during the day to get back to center and to listen. How am I to be expressing as the unique, unrepeatable expression of God that I am? Same with you. We always talk about taking the next step. You don't have to see the whole staircase, Martin Luther King said. Just the first step. And it's about the movement of us being a forward movement, right? Blessing each moment to become. Blessing to become. So we bless the invisible cause, or what we might call our state of consciousness, to become which is visible manifestation in the outer world. Are you willing? Blessing to become. So you're like, what does it really mean? All right. So here's something to chew on. Each of us, you and I, are a continual process of becoming that which we already are. So we get rid of the cobwebs and all of the dust bunnies and whatever else doesn't serve us, right? The statement might seem paradoxical, yes? And yet, it's a really deep spiritual truth. That which we are already are. Are you breathing with me? It's pretty exciting. So what are we? Well, I know that all of us are spiritual beings, expression of God in this human form and hopefully continuously having human awakenings, right? So we're born in the image and likeness of God, right? Okay, which means we're love. We are peace, joy, we are wholeness, we are divine, we are abundance, dynamic, radiant, vital. What are the words you might use? Go ahead, put them in the box. Let me see those. And do we always express all this goodness? No? Nope. Not always. They're always there waiting to be expressed, yes, at least I know this for myself. However, sometimes, maybe you do this as well, frustration gets expressed or anger or worry or resentment or fear or judgment, pettiness, blame, blah, 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 right? So breathe with me and exhale. Let's bless 
everything. This is my invitation to you today. Bless that which you believe is causing frustration. That about you which you're worried. That over which you might be angry. That which you fear or resent. Bless all that you judge. All that you might blame. Everything that might come out as a petty feeling, you think. Not so important to bless all. Because as you and I bless the things outside of us, we call forth that blessing from within that is our spiritual truth. Every time you and I bless a person, place, thing, event, a circumstance, we are blessing and shifting the idea around them so that we can allow acceptance as opposed to shooting on them, S-H-O-U-L-D-I-N-G, shooting on them because we think they should be a certain way. Well, they're not in this moment. So let's call forth from within us and bless the situation, the of anger, the worry, the resentment, whatever it is that's manic manifest. We bless it with love and joy and peace, abundance and wholeness. Bless it as a dynamic, radiant, vital happening in this moment and then see it differently. See it with the eyes of spirit from within you as something that is for this moment. Not necessarily all of eternity, right? Each time you and I bless something difficult, we become a blessing. We're already a blessing, but we become more of one, right? So what we know is that which we're focused on increases. So let's shift how we see the situation, the circumstance, the person, whatever it is, the challenge. Shift so that we can, in fact, increase the blessing upon it. So today... If you were to ask, what would you like to bless right now, Therese? I would say my mom, my sisters and my brothers, clergy everywhere. And please bless the unity movement. What would you focus on to be blessed today? Go ahead, write it in the box. We'll hold it with you. Blessing, which includes our head and our heart space, calls us to a deeper level. We're in the moment and we get to love, we get to feel peace, and we get to allow the wholeness of us in this moment. I love this stuff. You know it. So as you and I want to become that which we are meant to be, right? That which we already are, right? Bless it. Bless it and then bless it again. We get to give great thanks for the neat as well as the messy. For the kind as well as the unkind. The good, the bad, the ugly. Whatever name we call it. As we do this, The blessing stirs within us another one of our gifts called forgiveness. I honestly believe that there is no higher form of forgiveness for me than when I bless something. 
a situation, a person, a phone message, a text message. I bless it because I'm going to forgive whatever it has stirred up within me, whatever I've made up about what it means, because I can't know that. How we know that we have actually done our forgiveness work around a situation or a person or a circumstance is when that situation, the person, the event, the experience can pass through our minds unharmed. Are you willing? Can we just let it be and bless it as so? Doesn't mean we're not having boundaries. It doesn't mean our answer is no. It means we're going to see somehow how this is all to bless us. Everybody breathe again. For me, it's easier said than done sometimes. And yet it works. And so I keep doing it. So check into your heart right now. Take a moment. What would you consciously like to forgive? Who, what, where, how? Because consciously, forgiveness is always a choice, a thought. It's a conscious decision. I believe that you and I are designed to learn from unseen, unforeseen, excuse me, circumstances. And this is the work we do in our consciousness. It requires setting an intention to release a lot that doesn't serve us and to get to forgiveness where, where it's necessary. You and I are not defined by our previous experience or by our current circumstances, you and I are defined by what is within us. Yep, you and I are defined by what is inside of us. So let's bring forth blessings, right? And gratitude, thanksgiving or giving thanks. Embracing the truth of us as mind, idea, expression, always and in always. Are you willing? So take a moment. Close your outer eyes as you're comfortable. Move from your head to your heart space and breathe. Do it again. Breathe and exhale. Bring to mind something that allows you to be present in this moment. And we know that the human mind of us is immersed in the divine, coated with divinity, surrounded by your unique, unrepeatable expressions that each of us is. And so we breathe and then we exhale. You and I truly one in God, in all that we live and move and have our being. And so we embrace this allness of the eachness of us. And imagine a circle around you of divine love. And breathe. You and I coming forth as these unique, unrepeatable expressions of God from within us, celebrating our divinity, embracing our humanity, knowing our wholeness and acknowledging it, living from this out into life. 
you and I. Born in the image and after the likeness of all that is great and good. And we breathe. And we breathe. So in the privacy of your heart space, right here and right now, I invite you to commit to yourself that you will move from the blessing. You will take action from the blessing within to become greater than any fear or doubt or resentment, greater than any unforgiveness up until now, any limitation, any lack or fear. We're going to start from beyond that moment to be a blessing as we allow spirit to express through us for our very presence to be the presence. And we breathe. We bless to become peace and happiness and abundance, wholeness, joy, and calm for our own lives and all of those whose lives we touch. So let's take a moment in the quiet, grateful, thankful, blessed, in the quiet. When we get quiet enough to listen, as I get quiet enough to listen, the universe will tell us that everything is within us, that you and I are stronger than we might know, that we are the daylight and the night, that the darkness that we see outside of us is waiting for us to shine our light upon it. We get to remember we're not alone. We get to allow for life to happen through us. And I affirm for all of us that we are standing on holy ground wherever it is we're sitting in this moment the holy ground of becoming and being and blessing. And so we breathe into this truth. We bless the fullness and the wholeness of each of us in this moment. And we say thank you. We are grateful. Amen. So, We are grateful that you're with us. Grateful for our P.O. Box 1392, Bluffton, South Carolina, where we receive your love offerings and your practices of generosity through the mail. I love me a good envelope. You all know that. P.O. Box 1392, Bluffton, South Carolina, 29910. Or on our website, www.unityofhiltonhead.org, where there's a practice generosity button. It allows us to do this, to do the will and the work that is ours to do. In this low country, Unity Spiritual Center, Hilton Head Island. And when you're around, come see us in person. We meet at Congregation Beth Yam on the island. Thanks for being with us. Let's say our prayer for protection. The light of God surrounds me. I am the light of God. The love of God enfolds me. 
I am the love of God. The power of God protects me. I am the power of God. And the presence of God watches over me. I am the presence of God. Wherever I am, God is. And because God is, all is well. Many blessings. Reverend Therese signing off, Unity Spiritual Center, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Namaste.